More than 3,200 students from across the country participated in a 20-year anniversary of C-SPAN's Student Cam Documentary Competition. This year, we asked students, in the next 20 years, what is the most important change you'd like to see in America? Or, over the past 20 years, what's been the most important change in America? All this month, we're featuring our top 21 winning entries. This year's second prize middle school winners are eighth graders from Dexter Southfield School in Brookline, Massachusetts, where C-SPAN is available through Comcast. Their winning documentary, which talks about government transparency and related legislation, is titled Behind Closed Doors. Every American has a right to expect their government to be ethical, effective, and accountable. This question of how to, how to protect secrets on one hand, which is inherently undemocratic and inherently counter to the notion of free speech, while at the same time protecting the value of an informed electorate. Government transparency, one of the most requisite facets of a truthful and honest government, provides information to the public explaining events and political affairs. They're responsible for the past, the current, and the future dissemination of knowledge. However, when there is information that is not public, it can cause dissent. The hidden information resides within classified documents. Here is a graph of classified articles in different presidencies. Additionally, here is a graph of how many classified agreements there are in the years 2010 through 2014. Clear and readily accessible law is vital for everyone from police officers to office workers. However, not all law is public. A kind of classified information, secret law brings up problems. We interviewed Professor Dakota Rudso from Ohio State. The existence of secret law is not a secret. Uh, there is a good deal of public evidence that in the United States that there is a small but meaningful amount of what we can call secret law. And by secret law, what I mean is uh, rules and guidelines um, that um, are real law, they require compliance. There is a considerable amount of secret law that is totally classified and is related to intelligence agencies. However, there's also a lot of it that is simply not published. And it is on all manner of different issues, primarily that non-classified, non-national security secret law exists in the executive branch, which is the branch of government headed by the president. When you think about secret law, it intrinsically does not make sense. Law is meant to be a form of governance to maintain a productive society. Should this law be secret, then civilians are unable to abide by the laws of the nation to the best of their ability. People could be persecuted for a crime they did not know they committed. This constant fear of punishment may lead to stagnation in society, or maybe even paranoia. Even when law does not apply to the general interest of the public, they should still be invested in what the law does, for it could affect them or their morals and beliefs in other ways. Only viewable to a select view, secret law, while classified, holds a limited ability to be transparent. This, at its worst, leads to violations of the morals of the United States. The torture memos are an example of this. The memos effectively allow terrorists or potential terrorists to be tortured along with a few other groups of people. Secret law clearly has its flaws, but not all is bad. It plays an important role in national security, for example. At the same time, our framers well understood the need to protect secrets and the need for expedition in negotiations, the need to preserve national conversations that took place both with foreign leaders as well as information about troop movements and the like. There are three levels of classification within the United States government, confidential, secret, and top secret. The higher the level, the less people have access. To learn more about why information is classified, we talked to a former FBI agent, Ms. Jennifer Keenan. And there are all kinds of protocols and procedures of who can see uh, classified information, when it's collected, how it's handled, um, that that uh, may not be very apparent, but there are all protocols and processes. You earn the authority to view these documents, an interview is conducted, background checks are done, and other safety measures are ensured. If there is no discernible reason why one may want a security clearance, they will be rejected. 
what, what you don't see in terms of transparency is you don't really want to lens into an investigation because can you imagine if the FBI was doing an investigation and we let everybody know, hey, this is the subject of our investigation. This is who our witnesses are. This is the this is the informant. This is how we we collected our evidence um, before before it was uh, ready to go to court. National security can be a reason for classification, but it is not always an excuse for a lack of transparency. And and and, and when the content of the law itself is 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 not shared with the people in full, um, then uh, it it disrupts this feedback loop, and it kind of creates basically a self-government. And they were writing interpretations of law that were really really impactful and were concerning. Um, surveillance activity by NSA and by FBI, including of Americans, um, that were allowing NSA and FBI to collect more of our communications than I think Americans understood. It really raised its head up uh, in the modern era, beginning largely with the Pentagon Papers case. The government has a responsibility and duty to the American people to inform the public mass with the most information possible, while ensuring not to compromise national security. Democracy only functions when the voters are informed. To protect this nation from deceit and tampering, only the most necessary documents should be secret. The failure to do so, the obstruction of information to the American public, could be the greatest threat to democracy that America has ever seen. To watch this and all winning entries, visit our website at studentcam.org.